that if you do not show up, you will not be able to reach out to people and get to <clears throat> impact them. We have seen in many videos, successful people tend to show off what they have achieved. But in your videos, we see that they are very simple, down to earth, but content rich videos. Do you think you can reach a large number of people with this approach? Actually, I had two comments on this today, yeah? yeah. So I had a feedback from you and a same comment from you, saying that if you do not show up, you will not be able to reach out to people and get to <clears throat> so even impact. if you have a right message, you need to fake it until you make it and then probably you get into them and then you can talk your genuine talk. I disagree. And I believe it will take longer to get to the right, uh, to the right uh, people and to the right target audience and to the right quantity and quality of audience and size of audience. However, I prefer that approach. So. We were shooting actually around a week ago, I told you that, we were shooting around a week ago in one of my apartments in Address Downtown. We're shooting a video and we shot it for two hours probably and then at the end of the two hours I decided to scrap it and not to publish any part of it except very small parts of it. Why? Because it seemed to me like show off. Actually there's a part of that video which if I found now I'll, sh I'll, I'll publish with this video. And that part is a point where I noticed that it was show off in a way or other, and I said to Christine who was shooting, I haven't showed you my cars, I haven't showed you my possessions, I haven't showed you my uh, apartments, I haven't showed you my yachts, I've showed you my planes. In this video it came not like I have one, I don't own one, however I didn't even pose beside one and showed you that as if it's the lifestyle I enjoy. I don't and I don't want to. I can afford, but I don't. And whatever I enjoy is for me. And it's not to be shared in a way that maybe will trigger some uh, people's interest in the content, but in my opinion, is not genuine. I prefer to, the only thing I ever revealed was my companies because it's part of the success I build and live every day. Man, it's not to show off, it's not to say I have 12 companies, it's, it's just that this is where I've reached as a milestone and this is where I'm going. Having 12 companies is not an advantage, sometimes it's a disadvantage because you'll be losing money in some companies. So it's not always something that's working, it's not always a success, it's a success as much as it's a failure. And if people listen to me and listen to whatever I've published before, they know that most of what I've published is dealing with stuff that are my personal lagging points, pitfalls, non-achievements that I had and I wanted to deal with and I found a way to deal with. And I believe that way would not only work with me, would work for others, so I shared it. And I shared it on and on and on, and thanks God, it got to people. So, does it have to reach a million, two million, 10 million, 100 million? It, yes, it does, because it matters, and if you're trying to create an impact, impact is in numbers as well as in quality. However, does it have to do it today? No, I have 100 years to do it. And if I don't do it, because I don't live 100 years, if I do, I will do but if I don't, somebody else will. And somebody else is doing it now. There's great people like Simon Sinek, like Gary B, like people who do really talk. Have you ever seen Simon Sinek? I haven't, maybe you have. Simon Sinek on his um, um, yacht or posh sports car? Not really. You see him in approximately the same shirt and he's the same guy and he's talking to people the same wise talk. Now, it's not wise talk coming out of me, but it's some kind of talk that hopefully will help people change their lives to the best. Like, and if you can't afford this, don't call it a lifestyle, guys. If you can't afford this, you can call it anything else, but do not call it a lifestyle. If you can't afford this, it's still a great life if you're working for it. By the way, I don't live this daily. What happens is that I can afford it, I can enjoy it, I do enjoy it, but I don't live it daily.
I live it on weekends, on holidays. This is what you should do. I still work 20 hours a day. I'm not showing you this to show off. I've never showed you my cars. I've never showed you my plane. It's not like I've ever had one, but I never even rented one to show you. <laughs> and, or sit beside one that isn't mine to show you. Thank you.